Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, prayer line family. What an exciting day. We're going to let Minister Joy and take over from here. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Minister Lady Love. Good morning, morning, God. (laughs) Good morning, Love Journey Prayer Line family. Good morning, brothers, as we honor you this week. Let us center ourselves as I open up with prayer with a deep breath. Good morning, God. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, ancestors. Good morning, angels. Good morning, spiritual guides. I come before you this day, activating the I am faith that is within me, asking for your presence, your guidance as we move through this love journey process, dear God, on this line today. And I seek your anointing, a fresh anointing over myself, over each and every caller on the line now, those who will be calling in later, those who will be on the recorded line, that you will have a special blessing for them today, each and every one of us, dear God, that you would meet us where we are, that you would remember us in our homes that you would pour your spirit out, that it would overflow and take dominion where we reside from the inside out. Help us to remember who we are in you and to walk in that power and authority that you have blessed us with. Be with us as we move forward, dear God, and wherever we place our feet, dear God. Let us step into the promises that you have declared for us. Have your way. Bless us, dear God. Work in our lives, dear God. Help us to be the light and love that you have called us to be on this planet, dear God, for each other, dear God, for friends and family, dear God. Help us to be extensions of your love, the reflection that you are, that when they look at us, they see you. We give you thanks and praise, for you are worthy. I lift up all those who may be ailing in their bodies, dear God, that you would touch them in those private places, dear God, where they ache, dear God, where they hurt, where they need healing, on all levels of their being, dear God, emotionally, physically, spiritually, dear God. Have your way mentally, dear God. Touch our minds. Help us to take every thought captive, to filter everything through, You, dear God, through your word, Father God, help us to to lift up the standard of living, dear God, that we may enjoy that champagne life, the abundant life that you came, that we may have, Father. Have your way this day, dear God. Have your way this day, dear God. Remember those who have lost loved ones, dear God. Who, who who have lost those who have transitioned to be in your presence, dear God. We ask that you would be the comfort and the strength to ease them through that process, dear God. We ask that you would lift them up and that you would help them to remember that we all have an appointed time when we come, when we leave this planet, and that what we do in between is what matters the most and that only what we do for you will last. Have your way this day. And as I release this prayer, dear God, I ask that you would help us to usher into the love zone as we partake of the love soak. In Jesus' name, have your way, and let this Lord be blessed. Help us, Lord, to remember who we are and to remember a feeling of love, to anchor in to the love zone, dear God, whether it would be with a mate, dear God, a first love, a parent-child situation, anything that made us feel happy, joyful, light. Help us to anchor into that space, into that emotion. And as we anchor into that feel-good place, I ask that you would, Wrap your arms around yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and repeat three times. I am love. I am love. I am love. Understanding that we need to be the love that we seek to experience. Bless us, dear God. 
to look at ourselves and learn to see ourselves through your eyes, to look at ourselves and learn to accept what we see, to love what we see, so that we would be able to be in a loving relationship with you, ourselves, and others. So wrap yourself up in love. And for three times, say your name. We're going to do the affirmation that you love yourself. And so I would say, Joanne, I love you. I really, really love you. And you would say your name and that you love you and that you really, really love you. And so anchor into that feeling. Wrap yourself up in that love and say for three counts, Joanne, I love you. I really, really love you. Joanne, I love you. I really, really love you. Joanne, I love you. I really, really love you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. You should be smiling at this point (laughs) and feeling good and blessed in the love of God and the love that you are and the love that you will experience in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name. And so now I'm going to ask Erica to come on and do her desirability statement with the energetic, effervescent, beautiful self that she is. Oh, well, thank you, Minister (laughs) Joanne. And I love you, too. I really, really love you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) But good morning. Good morning, Lady Love, and good morning, God Crew. And good morning, beautiful Love Journey family. Okay, well, we're going to do just what Minister Joanne said and continue in our love and deservability. So on the count of three, let's affirm together. One, two, three. I am my own best friend, and I love what the universe created me to be. I will fulfill my purpose while on this planet in its fullness. I prepare to unshackle myself from people, from places, from ideas, and from things that do not serve my highest and my wisest. No one on this planet planet at at this this time time can do what I I have been called to do do. and touch touch those those I have been called to touch. touch. Yes, I am necessary. I am needed. I am a blessing. And I am deserving. I am deserving. I am a rich, I am rich and beautiful, and beautiful God. God. Of, of the my God. God. And I deserve, I deserve all of the good all things, of the good things in, life. in life. I am made, I am made in the image, image and likeness of God. God. Mm, and God is whole, whole and he's God. perfect, perfect and, so and so complete. complete. And everything that is true about God is true about Erica. I no longer identify with black limiting beliefs in my mind. I have total freedom. I now move to a new space in my thoughts. Where I am willing willing to see myself differently. And I am willing willing to create new thoughts thoughts about myself myself and about my life. life And I affirm affirm that I am am one one with the prospering prospering power power of the universe. universe. And I deserve life life. and a great great life. life. I deserve. Love and abundance. 
And I deserve great help. I deserve joy and happiness. And I deserve freedom to be all that I can be. And the universe is more than willing to manifest my new belief. And I accept the abundant life with joy, with pleasure, and with gratitude. For I am deserving. I accept it. And I know it to be true because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am made from greatness. (laughs) (laughs) That was juicy and delicious, as Reverend Val would say. All right, Reverend Mama Joy, you on the line? Come on in. Well, excuse me. Look who's <laughs> on the carpet this morning. Woo! Think about you, girl. God bless you. God bless you. And good morning, Love Journey family. Oh, man, we are rolling this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This is Reverend Mama Joy, your daily conscious reader. And we're just going to keep this love train, oh, excuse me, this love journey moving and flowing right on. This Tuesday, June 18th, and your piece of the rock this morning, most precious children of the most high rock steady God. Your rock this morning is the gift of renunciation. And again, we remind you of our spiritual faculty and the gift of imagination. Einstein says that, um, he says, imagination is greater than knowledge. That's where all our dreams lie. So this morning, the gift of renunciation, Galen McDonald writes, I have the power to renounce and to release any thought. Know that you have the power to renounce and to release any thought, any feeling, or even any belief. That isn't for your highest good. That power is your spiritual gift of renunciation. Learn to forgive all erroneous concepts, you know, that you may have about others and even yourself. Accept yourself, my God. Accept yourself just the way you are. And know that God loves you just the way you are. Renounce every belief that anyone has power over your life. As I renounce, no one has power over me. And take control of your thinking. Take control of the thoughts that enter your mind. And learn how to experience and receive the divine order that you are worthy and deserving to receive. Oh, my goodness, most precious children of a faithful rock steady God. Dismiss every thought that anyone has ever done to you, anyone has ever said about you, any label that has been placed upon you. Dismiss it and cancel its power in your life right now. Free everyone towards whom you've ever made an ill thought. And be liberated today. As I let go any sense of separation from God, you too release and let it be known to you in every cell in your body that there's nothing that can separate you from the love of your God. I embrace my true spiritual nature and I walk in my divinity. Thank you, Lord. God and I are one and you and God are one. And I live in this awareness. Please, this morning most precious ones live in that awareness. Renounce and release error thoughts and thrive in God's grace because you are truly worthy and you are deserving of so. Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Come to me. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens and know that I will give you rest. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. 
Amen. Namaste. Amen, amen. Namaste. Thank you, Reverend Mama Joy. Thank you, Erica. Okay, so now we are going to have a reading by me. And I will be reading one of our speaker's pieces called Worthy, and it will speak for itself. So this is a piece called Worthy, and it's spelled W-O-R-D-T-H-Y by Malik Werber Canty. I am fed spiritual gifts when I read, when I speak, and when I write. Writing for a purpose, writing for a cause, and writing because I took the stories from their eyes, took the stories from the atmosphere, and from the restless voices in my soul. I write because they won't. I read because there is no need to let them hear the pain in the words the truth in the words, and hope they can penetrate and stimulate a thought in action, a new soldier willing to fight for truth. I speak whenever and wherever I am given space or place to let every ear that is willing to hear and feel the power of words that are God-given and God-driven. Worthy because I finally understand God's plan when it concerns me. Worthy, because if I land by you, there's a message for you. Worthy, how else could I have survived my trials, my mistakes, without mercy and grace, protecting my steps? Steps that hurt others, steps that could have killed me. Instead, they taught me growth and how not to abandon the word hope. So much to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. And um, before I... Uh, Introduce the speaker. I would, I would ask everybody uh, but him to, to mute their lines. The star six if they're open because I'm hearing background noise. But anyway, today's speaker, I'm so excited to present to some and introduce to others Malik Samuel Canty, also known as the Word Bird around the poetry circuit. He is an anointed spiritual poet who speaks for the voiceless a teacher, and the published author of three poetry collections, Poetic Fire, Words from the River, and Who Hears the Poet When He Weeps. He has performed at the Apollo Theater, Brooklyn Academy of Music, the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, and McDonald's Gospel Fest, as well as been the featured poet on 89.9 FM radio. He's been published in various magazines and anthologies and has two well-received poetry CDs to his credit. He can be contacted and his per- books purchased on his Facebook Word Bird fan page. And there will also be a link on the Love Journey community page. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the person who increases my love vibration, Mr. Malik Word Bird Canty. You ready, babe? Star six, if you, if you, because I can't hear you. Okay, now I know he's here because we've been communicating all morning. <laughs> so, hold on for a second. Yeah, we heard him in the background um, when we told him to mute out. I think he muted himself out. <laughs> Right, but I said start six. Oh. Okay, I'm going to open the lines up. Hold on. Thank you. Yeah, that'll help. Hello? Okay, there you go. <laughs> we can hear you now. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, it's feeding time for the mind. Good morning, Love Journey family. This is Malik Tanti. I'm going to give it to you straight, not fancy. Wake up call. Time has never really been on your side. This is your wake-up call. Better start preparing for a word called change. Time to step up your game and become a true player on the world stage. This is your wake-up call. Put procrastination behind you. Push negative energy far away from you. Your wake-up call is sponsored by the Care About You Committee, sponsored by your conscience, and pride committee. This is your wake-up call. Start gathering pieces of your lost dreams. Start seeing yourself in a better place. 
with a better mindset as you glow with self-respect. This is your time for change, your time for success, your time to rise and be counted for. No more hiding and daytime nightmares. No more silent and open tears. This is your wake-up call. Open your eyes as well as your mind. Found and bury all those anchors of thoughts that have stagnated your steps and place your dreams in quicksand. Found and bury the people, places, or things that smother you instead of truly being good for you. Wake up and stay up. Rediscover that you are like no other. This is your wake-up call. And now, family, I asked God to do two things, and that was to use me. And use me for I understand. Use me to speak to them, for them, and against them. Use me like you did Moses, Samson, and the other greats of the holy book to fight for the people, represent the people, and be a voice for the people. Use me as you use Harriet in the swamps, as you use Sin K on the ship, as you woke up and made Malcolm stand up and become the force that he became. Use me and grant me the unyielding spirit of the ancestors who were able to withstand the brutality and beastly behavior of those who subjugated them to the horrors of hell on earth. Use me as a reminder to those who have forgot their history, to those who try to erase history, and especially to those who deny the etymology of history. Use me as you see fit. Put me in motion and send me to any place and every place where wrong is strong. Make me like the rock and toss me across the troubled waters that continue to drown out the hopes and aspirations of the people of God. Use me so that when I speak, they hear the voices of a million men behind me. Use me so that when they see me, I conjure up images with my words, by my actions, the spirit of what we can become if we become unified again. Take me where I need to go so that I can grow. Use me like you did all those other sisters and brothers of the struggle who would not bend, yield, or conform to a norm that was devil-led and devil-influenced. Use me, for my mind is clearing itself from historical lies that have been taught from generations to generations as a means of control for those who secretly and openly challenge the teachings of the great book. Use me so that I can make a difference. Every part is an important part when you are working for the kingdom of God. How do you want to be used, and who do you really want to work for? Use me. This piece here is for the believer. Because you who know in your heart that God has always been the source that you rely on to pull you through, to get you through, must never falter in your faith. Never stop believing that he can stop the bleeding of your precious heart, heal the discomfort of your soul, renew you and make you whole. Let not the foolishness, the insensitivity, and the carriers of bad news plant their condescending, hollow thoughts too much inside you on a daily basis. Never forget how blessed you are. Personify your beliefs by overcoming anything or anyone that seeks to make you weak. Walk the God walk in times of trouble, in times of grief, in times when your heart can't locate peace. Walk the God walk. Whenever danger is in your atmosphere or trouble comes from out of nowhere, call his name in the language your heart tells you is proper. Walk the God walk. Step with the knowledge that there is no greater love or force 
always walking beside you. Walk the God walk. Stay humble in your heart and deeds, and our Creator will always give you the things you need. Walk the God walk. Daniel did it. Jonah too. How much faith do you have inside of you? Walk the God walk. Ancient warrior. I am an ancient warrior. A soldier of a glorious past. My battles have been many. I am fearless. Been summoned many times to do battles in many places. My battle gear is made from the element of tears. My weapons have changed with the time. I am always ready and steady. I do not get much rest, for I am always on alert. I am an ancient warrior. I fought with the Mao Mao. I stood with Shaka. I marched with Hannibal. I tutored Malcolm, Angela, and Yui. I showed Harriet the need for staying underground and operating. Wherever injustice is to be found, you will find me. The weak and oppressed don't let me sleep, for the anguish and pain has kept the dust from settling on my tomb. All the other ancient warriors that came before me have made a spiritual alliance with me. My endurance comes from a divine source that many people thought was lost. I am an ancient warrior. I cried at Calvary, for my teacher had ascended and I could not come because my work here was not done. Modern grief keeps the peace of sleep from me, so I keep my battle gear on until another savior is born. I am a century who has been here for centuries, stolen legacy, racism, and abuse of the dark continent kept me strong and anticipating another call to do battle. I mount the wind, ride the tides. Many have tried to kill me, but I cannot die. Strong like a petrified tree, the blood of countless generations flow through me. I cannot rest. I will never fully sleep. And the bodies that make up the middle passage floors are always calling out to me to set their restless spirits free. I am an ancient warrior. Amnon the Wilma's screams interrupted my dreams and brought me back to the present. I weep each time a leader dies and a child cries. I am an ancient warrior. Wherever you find injustice, you will find elements of me. God knows. This poem is for the people of God who have tolerated and put up with the disbelievers and all those others who challenge your faith and commitment to the commandments of God. You have been blessed. No matter who refuses to see it, God knows. Those tears that you have shed have not been in vain. God knows. Those prayers that you are constantly asking for are being answered right at this moment, waiting for the appointed time to be released. God knows that you have suffered. He knows that you have been faithful to him. He knows that you have withstood the earthly trials with grace and faith. He knows that you have never questioned his judgment. He knows, for he is God. Everything that exists is because of him. God knows, God hears, God cares. Let those who foolishly boast to have scientific knowledge to explain all things take heed. God knows the hearts of men and women. If it was not for his compassion and love, this world would explode, and no science, no others could save it. God knows, God knows. Hold firm to your belief. Stand by his words. No matter what you go through, been through, he will never leave you. God knows, God hears, God cares. Love. We should be careful when we toss the word love around. Love is so demanding and sensitive that the least little thing can turn love into tolerance, into unhappiness, and into the betrayal or departure. Love is about contact. Love hates to be taken a 
advantage of. And when it comes from family, it hurts a little more and dilutes the blood gone. If you tell me you love me, let it come with permission from your heart. Love can uplift or give you fits, elevate you or break you. We should be careful when we toss the word love around. Love is fickle. It has been known to give you a mental throne and then strip you to the bones and leave you alone. Love has to be nourished or it will perish. It has to be watered like a plant to survive or it will wilt and die. Love lives to love will attack and defend its boundaries against all adversaries, has been known to weaken because of trickery. Lies and mistrust have often led to heart failure, and love dies and seeks a rebirth in another body, another heart, another eye. We should be careful when we toss the word love around. Black woman, do you really know how beautiful you are? Black woman, you were born majestic, and you were selected by the Creator to be a shining example of beauty at its highest peak. Do you know, black woman, that you possess a strength that others admire? Even if they don't confess, they know you're the best. Black woman, Mother Earth, for centuries you have proven over and over again that there is no one quite like you. Do you know, black woman, that the word queen came from you when your presence first came into existence? You have managed to hold your family together during difficult times. No female in history has taken as much abuse as you. How you were able to keep your beauty intact when everyone was trying to tear you down, remake you, Taste and break you shows the strength that seeps through your pores. Do you know, black woman, that the background is not the grounds you should be accustomed to? When I see you, wherever I see you, please walk proud, look proud, keep your beauty beaming above the crowd. You represent beauty and strength. Take time to notice. This is my tribute to you, black woman. No matter which shade that dominates your face, you bring so much beauty to our race. And I would like to leave you with the black man's prayer. Dear Lord, could you find the time to awaken me from the grave of my mind and treat me like Lazarus? Tell me to rise and come forth, for I have been deceased for quite some time. Remove the shackles off my mind and bind them to your will. Treat me like Lazarus, Lord. Show me how to take off those tapes of disappointment and how to stand like a man. Let me hear the call that takes my foot out of the grave that others have set before me by their lack of faith in me, by their treatment of me. Treat me like Lazarus, Lord. I have been asleep too long, and my family needs me to rise again, like the sun, like your holy sun. This has been the word for experience. I'm done. Amen, amen. Well, like the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 3, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing with us your gift. You're quite welcome. And so before he has to go to work, as um, if anyone wants to have a comment or wants to share something, um, Star Six, come on in and show him some love. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Hey, uh, brother, I want to thank you. Your words are so sweet. I'm just 
lying here in my bed, listening to the rain come down, the mist is flowing, and I hear your words, I have had a perfect morning. And I, like Joanne, love men with words, intelligence, and you are a God. Man, and I like that even more so. So just the combination of you has made my morning worth waking up for once again. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. And I'm just going to piggyback on 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 Queen Claudette, and thank you so much for sharing your gifts with us this morning. And thank you, Minister Joanne, for monitoring this morning. You know, I was in the. I I, I have to go with Claudette. Um, I took some really cool notes because, you know, I love poetry. And um, and I'm kind of a senior on the line, but you took me back into a time where, where we would, um, when I was younger, and we would sit up under the tree, you know, when I was either on the campus, either the college campus, or sometimes even, um, I don't know how Greenwich Village is, when I would visit Greenwich Village and, um, and there were poetry sessions there. And it's such a it's such a sweetness. It's just so beautiful, um, uh, and a reverence that uh, that comes from words from the heart. I I took the notes, and one of the things is, who do you work for? And it's so amazing that you may hear words spoken in conversation, but you have a wonderful flow, a wonderful flow that stuck with me. And then the ancient warrior. So then, you know, I had to get down, and I'm going to be brief, and I had to lie down, Minister Joanne, and I got me an ice pack, (laughs) and I listened to your words, and I want you to know they're very soothing and very healing, and I appreciate you, and uh, all of your words, the ancient warrior, um, who do you work for, and just to know that uh, poetry and the flow of God's love from uh, vehicles like you is this just it's it's no stopping. You're just part of a divine eternal flow, and we're very blessed to have you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your words. Yes. Good morning, Malik. This is Linda, and I just wanted to um, thank you for uh, sharing from your heart and sharing from your soul. I wanted to thank you for. It just feels so good to hear. Um, a black man speak from his heart, from his king self. And um, the depth of your words are so rooted and so spiritual. And they mean so much to me as a black woman, just to hear uh, you stand in your king self and speak from a place of integrity and character and share with us as women um, how black men feel about us. And um, it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I really don't have the words to say because I'm not, my tongue is not as eloquent as yours, but uh, I just want you to know from my heart that um, your work is so um, healing, is so healing to me personally as a black woman just to hear uh, how black men feel about us. So thank you. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. I don't think we say it often enough, but, you know, we know that God was showing off when he made women. Yes, yes. From your ribs. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm in complete agreement, Malik. I think God showed off when he made us, too. (laughs) Uh, Hey, I I also have to tell it like I (laughs) see (laughs) it. I want to thank you for your words. And thank you for sharing your gift from your heart. Things that come from the heart go to the heart. And I felt it deeply in my heart and knew profoundly that you meant every word that you said. So I just wanted to say thank you for being a man of God. Thank you for being a man of wisdom. But more importantly, thank you for being a man who is willing to share his gift because it's not a gift unless you share it. And thank you for sharing. Yes. Thank you for listening. And you're right. God give us all gifts, and some of us don't recognize it because of the, the opinion of others. I'm always telling my students that you were born great. Discover how much great you are. Mm. I love that. Thank you, Minister Joanne, for sharing the link this morning with us. Yes. 
ね。